some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Ridgefield, Connecticut, with Josh from Accountability for All, where he antagonizes an employee and threatens to have them fired. So, let's sit back, relax, and try not to throw your computer out the window like I almost did. No one home there. They're all in Florida. They're all in Florida, yeah. Party, do whatever that man does. Oh, yeah. The guy with one letter. Do we see all the offices here? We gotta go upstairs then? One letter for a person. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not happy to be honest with you with the behavior. Yeah, most people that work here actually wouldn't play that TikTok near around their kids just because it's so. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> Hello, how are we doing? How are you today? You know, Josh, whenever I was growing up, my father actually taught me manners. When you see a door closed, you knock first. You just don't enter it. And as somebody who's an educator, I have to teach the younger generation the same manners. Now, my question is, did he teach you any manners? Or were you munching crowns in the back of the class? Yeah, I can see you being the one munching crowns and eating paste. Who are you? Hey, hello. I'm, I'm me. What are you up to? Making uh, sure the work's done there? Yeah. Perfect. People getting good service here today? Public's getting good representation today? Who are you with? Yeah, I'm with him. Who are you? I'm with him. Yeah, we're, we're, to, we're to both together. We came, yeah. came separately, but are currently together now. But so, not together, together. Not together like that. Which would be fine if we were because it's yeah, you know, not no judgment. No 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 judgment, but yeah. Just trying to answer your question as much detail as possible. That wasn't much. Oh. <laughs> Pretty much gave you the whole rundown. What else would you like to know? What's on your badge there? I'm an investigative journalist. Investigative journalist? This is Leroy Truth Investigations. Yeah. He investigates the truth. Looking for the truth. How are public officials act and are they transparent? Are they corrupt? Are they representing the people properly? Do they act like emperors and kings and do TikTok dances? And why don't you, why don't you come down and see the city manager? Oh, we were already down there. Yeah, we wanted to see yeah. him actually, but we heard What about that? What about that, that mayor? Was he, uh, is he a good mayor? Yeah. You guys go. I got work to do. No, I can't go. I'm good right here, though. I appreciate you asking. Good grief, man, lay off. This man has got more important things to do than sit here and answer random stupid questions from you. This man is a city engineer. He has a job to do, unlike you. Your only job is to be a dumbass. This man has to help run a city. But no, he's going to keep on poking the bear until he gets the reaction he wants. At this point, it's not about the Constitution. It's about getting clicks and views for your lame-ass YouTube channel. So, what about that mayor, though? Like, is he is he a good mayor for the people? Go. No, this is a public office, so I can't be trespassed. I haven't committed a crime, so I'm engaging in a Constitution-protected activity, gathering content for a story, and you know, your job is to assist the people. So, I'm asking you about your office Where and your mayor. Where do you mayor. live? I live at my house. Thanks okay. for asking. No, I, how about what town? Uh, it's it's not a town. It's a city. Okay, what city? It's next door to the three neighboring cities that I border on. Well, then I don't work for you then. <laughs> so you can leave. Oh, you do, town. you do, because what this place receives federal taxes and federal assistance, and I pay federal taxes. And you do work for the people. I mean, my question is pretty simple. We would have been out of here already. I was just asking you if the if the mayor is a good mayor for the people. That's all, man. Your line of questioning is quite obvious in the direction that it wants to go. You want him to say something negative about the mayor and get him into trouble. 
It is a really dirty tactic, you know, and if you really care about finding corruption within the government, you should really seek out other sources and other ways of doing it, because this is not it. I don't know, I've, I've only met, probably talked to him three times in my life. I don't, I'm an engineer, so I don't really get involved with yeah. the politics. We're that. just, yeah, we're just asking folks because, you know, he's, you know, instead of being in the city right now and making sure that, you know, the walkway isn't slick with ice with people falling all over it, he's doing TikTok videos in Florida talking about knocking people out and making fun of the citizens that he represents. So I was just, you know, asking folks what they. I've never seen any of that, so. Okay, guess what I got? I mean, maybe I don't know. And it's probably the wrong guy. What do you think about that? What do you guys think about leaving? I'm not really thinking about it right now, to be perfectly right. honest. You know, let me get a hold of the cops and they'll be taken out. How much you want to bet that won't happen? Do you want to, do you want to make a bet on that, sir? That's good. If you don't bet, you can't lose, and you wouldn't be losing this one. Threaten to call the cops on American citizens in a public building. What's your name? Well, he does have a valid reason. He is trying to get work done. And you know what? You can be trespassed. It doesn't matter if it's public or private. You can be trespassed. Unfortunately, you don't get trespassed in this video, but given your sickening attitude, you should have been trespassed instead of what really happened in the end. Because now we can go do a records request. Yeah, go do a records request. Well, I can wait a second. I don't need to run there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure why people call the cops all the time. Yeah. Instead of just you know, men hashing it out and just you know, communicating. Yeah. We're completely non-violent, no ill will. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't tell me who the hell you are. You know, I don't have to identify you. to you. If you, you ask me who I I don't have to give up my Fourth Amendment right to make you feel special and warm inside. Do you no. get that? I just have this, some things here that might be confidential. And, and I'm not looking at your paperwork. I don't care you for your paperwork or what's on it. It has a film and everything. And guess what? Uh -huh. This is the people's building. We have every right to film something, everything, nothing. We have freedom of the press. We're journalists gathering content for a story. We've even been kind enough to explain to you part of that story. And you're trying to tell us that our right to be secure in our persons, our papers, and our effects, and to have to answer your questions or be secure in the limitation of our answers under the Fifth Amendment, we need to do that because you like to feel warm and cozy and cuddly inside. Do you want my ID, man? Can I, can I give you my ID or my birth certificate? I don't even want it. What about my social security number? My firstborn child? Would you like that? Okay. Well, I just didn't know if there was anything else you wanted. Like, if I'm going to give up one of my rights for you to feel good, I'll give up all of them. Did your parents have any children that live? Sir, yes, sir. How about they regret that? Yeah. I'm going to have to go do a record. What's your name, man? I don't have one. You don't have a name? No. Oh, well, that's interesting. Your mother hated me. I must have been a tough bird. Well, I mean, I can, uh, not for nothing, I can kind of understand her sentiments just a bit. Well, this name for people who have no name is called Seminon. Yeah. It's no names backwards. We're going to have to figure out this gentleman's name so we can do our records request. He's trying to prohibit a Freedom of Information Act request. Right. We're just here in a public building, in a public, right, publicly you know, accessible area. Right? Oh, there it is. Andrew. Andrew McPherson. There we go. Andrew McPherson is the one that's trying to violate our rights today. I'm going to go do a, a records request. Okay, then, yeah, go. Go do that. Get out of here. Listen, go. you're in my office. You don't tell me to get out of my office. This is the people's office in the people's building. The people pay the bills here. Your All laptop's right. on because yeah, the people on. pay for it. Go on. Oh, not gonna happen. I'm working on my story. Oh. Shh. Let me shh. 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 You're interrupting me. Shh. You're the fucking weirdo. That's what you like. Come on. That's how you behave. 
Come on, get out. Put your hands on me, man. I'll put your hands on you. I'll throw you out. Hey, will. Would you like to hold? You want to hold this phone? And here's the moment that Josh's been waiting for. The moment where he can get a complaint and attempt to get somebody fired for clicks and views. Josh, you are an incredibly despicable and disgusting human being. You can act violent, so you know where you're gonna go. A jail cell shortly after the defense. So. Can you guys just go go find somebody else that is, is amused Shh. by your freaking journalism? Andrew, sit down. No. Sit down. Sit down. Now that we've gone through Andrew's idle threats and threats of violence, now we're gonna have to go speak to the city manager's office. We're gonna figure this out. So you can close the door, but we'll be right back. Andrew. Uh, there you gonna close the door like that. There you go. Close the door, Andrew. Huh? Close your door, Andrew. Close it. Close your mouth when you're talking to me. Close your mouth. Get the fuck. Close your... Okay, oh, that's, that's acceptable behavior by a public servant. Five minutes later. Would any of your employees uh, tell me to get the fuck out, tell me I can't film, and then threaten to physically assault me and then invade my personal space in an aggressive and threatening manner? They wouldn't. What if I showed you a video that they did? <laughs> and then, then we got a problem. Uh, Andrew's going to be out of a, a job, so let's figure out how we deal with that. Um, so the city manager is whom? We have the, you met him. The oh, acting. he's the acting city manager. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's, it's probably surprising that that just happened. Behavior like that, not, is that that's not condoned by the city, is it? No, it shouldn't happen. Or any office. Right. Right. You understand. Yeah. Comes to right. It's just, it's just, you know, communication. You I'll throw you the. Because it's not, doesn't, that's not probably professional, right? He's calling the cops, yeah. too. He said he yeah, yeah call, he's cops. calling the cops. That doesn't normally happen. See, the last city official that did his type of behavior and then engaged in threatening behavior assault called the cops on themselves and then they got uh, arrested. So. We'll go, we'll go chat with him. Thank you for being so nice. I yeah, appreciate it. So we heard that you're you're the acting acting guy. Uh, I am the acting city manager, yes. And I had a question for you. Would would any of your employees uh, tell us to get the fuck out that we can't fucking film and then offer to fucking throw me out and then come within inches of my face to try and physically intimidate me and I would hope not but I have no idea at this point no. I would hope not and if they did mm -hmm. I do apologize for that yeah, let's, 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 let's let's take a look so we we watched the video feedback on his behavior I well, certainly apologize on his behalf for that behavior because that's not something that we would expect well it's wrong well, I, obviously you understand that it's wrong and you know you're doing what a, a boss and a politician does you're but my apology an apology to me would come from Andrew, because Andrew's, you know, if, if I did something wrong and someone apologized for me, I wouldn't learn a lesson. I'm kind enough in the fact that I'm not pursuing this in a legal matter. At this point, I'm just willing to take his job or an apology. Dude, you are a sick individual. You want to take a man who works hard at his job over something stupid like that? If I were that individual that you're talking to right now, I would have called the police a long time ago. Because the more you get your ass kissed in these situations, the more you're going to come back and exploit that weakness. His dates of employment, I will not file a complaint on him, and I will not take his job from him. Would you allow me to go speak with him? Before? Absolutely, and I and I'm sorry. Like off, off, I know I'm I'm a little upset. My my the, my my level of aggravation has nothing to do with you. So please don't take that as an affront to yourself. You've been doing a great job. But if he's willing to apologize, then then I'll be happy to just wait in the hallway. You can go speak to him. I'll wait for you to come back. It's no problem. I appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate thank you very it. Much. Well, what you're about to see is a major humiliation for that guy involved. The fact that he has to apologize to this crayon-munching idiot that walked into his office and started antagonizing him. That is truly disgusting. Gentlemen, so you've met Mr. McPherson. We have. Hello. Yeah. I'm just going to apologize. Sorry, I got agitated, so... 
Now, let me ask you a fair question. And, and I want you to be honest because I appreciate honesty more than anything else. Would you have apologized or is it more, are you doing it because you're concerned that your job might be at risk? Or are you apologizing because you think that you did something wrong? No, I guess I did something wrong. I wish I, you guys had identified yourself a little better, but I had no idea who you were. And I appreciate now it. Now I do know who you are, so I apologize. And that, that takes big, a big person, a big man. Absolutely. I have, I'll tell you one thing, when I do something wrong, I have a really hard time admitting it. And I'll probably linger on it a little bit because I'm, I'm a human being. It, it takes more to do that. So I thank you. I appreciate it. And I was just explaining to him, it's not always about the fumble, but sometimes the recovery. And I think maybe we got off on the wrong foot and the, my viewers saw maybe a skewed view of you. They can see now that you're a public servant that accepts his responsibility and is, and is open to discourse. So I appreciate that. Yeah. Thanks very much for chatting with us. Thank you. Have a good day, man. Have a great Thank new you. year. You too. That was truly a disgusting display. You took that like a sore winner. But wait, Josh was on the news the other day. And this kind of thing and his antics have been attracting the attention of Connecticut lawmakers. Well, Connecticut is, of course, called the Constitution State, and this is an issue that's fundamental to our very democracy. The First Amendment of the Constitution, freedom of speech and freedom of the press. Shortly before Christmas, a team of First Amendment auditors entered the Ridgefield Town Hall with their cameras and started interacting with government officials. Can you please shut that off? No, no, it's silly. What do you mean, no? Get out of here. Ridgefield public employee Patricia Pacheco eventually hit the panic button under her desk as the interaction between Pacheco and auditor Josh Abrams escalated. Oh, ma'am, it's not going to be good. Don't do that. You're going to look very... Oh, All right, ma'am. All right. You're going to have to call someone now. Unfortunately, she's in trouble. Ridgefield police responded and charged Pacheco with disorderly conduct. We go in and we, we want to flex our rights and stress test the Constitution. But State Representative Pat Callahan is looking into crafting state law to limit auditor access. He told Fox 61 he believes there's an ulterior motive. Let's not even call them First Amendment people. What they're doing is trying to start a fight. If they were really interested in information, they certainly could pick up the phone and make an appointment with any of the departments at these town halls that they're trying to visit and not come in and put their phone, you know, an inch from your nose and try and, and try and provoke you. But Abrams, who runs a YouTube channel called Accountability for All, told Fox 61 that while he does make money off the clicks, it's about the education. It is a balance, but I can tell you one thing that myself or many of the other large channels that do what I do, they never sacrifice the integrity of this movement um, for clicks and views. Abrams responded to the idea of a state law putting rules on the Constitution. It's a very dangerous precipice when the government has the ability to be the arbiter of who can and cannot exercise their rights. During many of these encounters, police are called. It's really mutual respect. If you show up and give anybody you're dealing with the respect that they deserve, you're going to get it back. Ridgefield police told us they conduct internal training on First Amendment rights. We advise the public and all the other town agencies to do the same internally is to educate their employees on First Amendment rights because we know they could show up any day at any time. Ridgefield police tell us these auditors know to stick to the public areas. As for that public employee, she was given the chance to apologize and avoid a charge. She refused, but her disorderly conduct charge was eventually dropped. Callahan admitted it's difficult to be able to craft a law that would still be in line with the Constitution, while Abrams told Fox 61 that if this does become a law, it would be, quote, as good as the paper it's written on. Reporting in Ridgefield, Matt Karen, Fox 61 News. You know what, Josh? One day, there is going to be a law passed because people like you is going to restrict your activities. And the only one you have to blame is yourself because you acted like a jackass.